Hello, my dear friends of the world. In this video, we're going to talk about slide vibrato. Now, slide vibrato was the vibrato of choice in the early 1900s, and there were a few players that are the go-to people to listen to for how to do this style, one being Tommy Dorsey, Irby Green, Dick Nash, and the list goes on. I'm going to show you how I go about using slide vibrato. It's a little different. The first thing when coming to slide vibrato, it's really tricky because it can come off as being really kind of corny or cheese ball <clears throat> if you don't do it correctly. You're going to want to establish the pitch first and then you're going to want to oscillate the slide back and forth. And there's debate on whether you s start the pitch and then go up first then down and then or down first then up. I think most of the time I'm going down and then back up to the pitch and then back and forth. So I'll demonstrate a little bit just on one note so you can hear. So you establish the pitch first. You should feel relaxed, it should feel easy, it shouldn't feel forced. You're not going to want it to sound like like this. This is how you're not going to want it to sound like. Unless you're looking for that effect in a, in a song or whatever. But you're going to establish the pitch first and then you're going to nicely relax and go back and forth. So I did write an exercise. I wrote an exercise and stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll tell you how you can download this. I wrote it all out for you. So here's an exercise I wrote to work on your slide vibrato because if you're doing the slide vibrato in first and second position, it's a little more challenging, especially in first position because it's you can't really go anywhere because it's there. So you got to use a lot of alternate positions to really make the slide vibrato effective. So this exercise I wrote uh, has a lot of alternate positions implemented to make it your life easier when it comes time to when you have to make those decisions in a musical context. So here we go. So that exercise is implementing a lot of alternate positions. Instead of playing the B flats in first, we're using them in third. Instead of playing the A's in second, we're using them in fourth. We're using a lot of D's in fourth. We're using your sometimes it taking your B flat to fifth position. So by using the alternate positions, it's really going to enable you to have that singing quality. It's going to really enable you to have that um, slide vibrato effect. We'll talk a little bit more about the other types of vibratos in some other videos, but I do like to combine them. I'll talk about that later. So if you, as I talked about at the beginning of this video, so this is all in, I wrote this all out for you. So you can just click the link below or you can go to paultrombos.com books tab. And this is part of my method book, Trombone Exercises, that will make you a great player. And it has a lot of different categories. And I wrote out all these different exercises for you that I feel like are the most important ones to take your playing to the next level. 
So we got low range builder, we got high range builder, we got lip slur flexibility, developing your sound. We have turns, trills, getting comfortable with trills, getting comfortable with the full range of the arpeggios, getting comfortable with the full uh, spectrum of your major tonalities by interweaving them chromatically, then working on chromatics chromatically to enable you to get the most comfort from going to every single position to another position chromatically as possible from every angle of the horn. We got some mouthpiece exercises. We got some exercises that we're going to help you if you're trying to get your chops back in shape. If you're having some issues, it helps reset the chops and then you're going to get back to playing. So, and tonguing exercises. So it all goes in here and it's all clickable with video links to help support the content and just some of my thoughts. It's probably like trombone exercises that will make you a great player, a trombone method book. So just remember when you're doing slide vibrato, folks, remember this, you establish the pitch first and then you move. As opposed to this. Then your ear can't really pick up what pitch you're playing. So you got to really establish it first. And it should be an easy, relaxed thing, you know. And vibrato is very personal. It's Everyone has their own style, their own thing. So it's really the closest to singing as possible. So I would recommend to maybe sing a melody and then try to emulate your vibrato, how you would sing. And that's about all. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been subscribed, thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to hit a like on here. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I appreciate you all so much. It's paulthetrombonist.com books tab or a link in the description here to get that exercise that's written out with many more. And, you know, folks, it's like this material right here will last you the rest of your life. I've been working on it myself because now I have all my ideas out on a piece of paper or on the uh, tablet and I can just work on this stuff and it's the cost of like one seventh of a lesson you know a lesson you forget some of the stuff you talk about unless you record it this stuff it's all documented for the rest of your life one seventh of the cost of a lesson and uh the cost of a fast food meal and i've been saying it you go to fast food you poop it out it's gone forever this knowledge will last you forever and we're really excited because the vid the uh the book's been out for just a week now. We already got over 30 countries that are now what I like to call the Trombone Academy. Everyone that gets the download, I like to have them as, as a life alumni and a little family I call the Trombone Academy. And the response has been great. People have been talking about it. So if you have any testimonials, feel free to send them this way and I'll be posting those as well. I may be rambling a bit, but I like to ramble. I like to ramble because I don't get to talk to you as much as I want to because I appreciate you all so much and when I'm feeling like communicating with you, I ramble. So this is Paul Trombonis signing off. Thanks so much. Yeah.